Welcome back everyone to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. So I'm going to tell you a little short story. I got my keys to my apartment. With only two nubs and an Isla Del Sol to smoke, I decided tonight I will try the log. This is a 5 by 70 maybe it's a 6 by 70 It could be called the 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 log itself. I mean, there is 5 by 70 the stump, 6 by 70 which is the uh, um, log, and then you got five, seven by seven in the tree. So, thanks to Johnny Sticks, this was donated by him. So I'm going to kick the tires like fires. Um, I will look up the information momentarily. I just want to get this going. So I'm sorry if there is no um. Hmm. Initial puff, which I still got to read the info to you. And also, I want to let you know, I took care of my Amtrak travel today. So, I will be going and having my surgery in Portland on time. So, let's look her up. I think this is a Nestor Placentia cigar. Nope, it says here... 70 ring gauge monster. It is a Sumatran wrapper. You get seven to it. It, uh, let's see. The, a dark Sumatran wrapper graces a blend of aged Cuban seed tobaccos rolled in a Cuban sandwich style. So it doesn't say who made it, but this is what you get. So. I gotta fix one little bur uh, one little toast. Otherwise, this thing is burning pretty good. Whoops! I want to barbecue my hands now. That would not be fun. Tomorrow's the Memorial Day, so tonight I will be working on since I already have my bubble bath, setting up a time for for um. And by the way, the draw is kind of sucky in this. It's because of uh, other issues. So, and I will tell you the wrapper. I mean, it's trying to unravel itself. So, this one here might not be good. It might not have been humidified properly. I don't know. I don't know if this was one of the uh, Aaron Stashies or mine. I know I hoarded the logs. And was planning to smoke them eventually, so I figured today would be a good day to uh, smoke the uh, log. I can always open her up a little. There we go. No, I didn't crack through the, the thing the wrapper was trying to unravel at the back side, so. The draw could be because it's just a giant cigar. I mean, look at this. This is the ring gauge of it. I got a 7x70 uh, Gordo, as they call it. So, all my business phone calls are done for this week. I got calls to do Monday because it's close enough for T minus moving out. So, otherwise, 
you know, I would say, um, you know, stay tuned for... Stay tuned. I'm just trying to even this out. Remember, this thing's huge, so it could get wonky burnt. So, so like I said, stay tuned for the halfway point of this vlog. Welcome back to uh, the. Um, halfway point of this log 5 by 70 as you can see it's been smoking down I got a couple things to say this one here the construction is starting to break I'll uh, show you why we can see in the camera right there yep it's splitting in the back I forgot to tell you the flavors and then the first third which was light lajero cedar and then in this one it's light lajero cedar and tastes like hickory smoke and um, as you all know I've been trying to keep this open The draw has just been terrible. But, what can I expect? And the wrapper will probably unravel before I get to the final third. Let's hope not, but. So far, the cigars smoke pretty good. Uh, for dinner tonight, I'm having leftover turkey tenderloins with some Bush's honey baked beans. So. Stay tuned for the final third of this vlog. Welcome back to uh, part three of the vlog. This will be four parts this time. I wanted to share with you the wrapper is coming off completely. This thing I'll be probably smoking just the binder. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's been humidified properly, so... You know how it goes, but I thought I would share that with you all. So, that said, please, please look for part four of this vlog. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone, to the final third, or fourth part of the, uh, the log. It's not a nub. This log is now splitting, and, you know, half of the binder is showing, but this part here, you know, or not half, but it is splitting. So, so far I'm smoking it down. I'm getting a Lajero cedar spice. And yeah, so cedar spice and Lajero. I highly recommend it for anyone that hasn't tried a log. They're really good. You get seven of them, either in the 5x70, the 6x70, or the 7x70. I have one 7x70. But, you know, should I try a different Vitola, you uh, you be the judge. Um, this has been burning somewhat wonky, but as you all know, larger cigars and bigger than 60 ring gauge will burn wonky. I've had... Uh, the Garzilla, which didn't do too well, so. I'm going to thank Johnny Sticks for this cigar to sample. Again, I'm re-reviewing re it because, well, this is one of the few cigars I can review before I get to the premium ones tomorrow and Sunday. So, tomorrow night I have a special surprise for you all, so stay tuned. So, I recommend this? Yes. Is it worth the money? Yes. If you just want something that's long burning, go for it. And, uh, there you have it. Uh, oh, it's a medium body to medium uh, strength cigar. Uh, highly in, high in nicotine because of all that, you know, uh, size. So, 
I want to say that's my recommendation. Please add, uh, please add and subscribe. Please post comments. Please leave feedback and suggestions. If you smoke this or you're having, please let us know in the comments below. Just keep it nice is all we ask. And enjoy every puff.